Let's get it on. What's going on, Pick Dog family? It's your guy, Wayne Scott, from PickDogs.com. Over here in the YouTube world, Pick Dogs is known for the number one in videos and video content for sports betting. If you're new here, hit that subscribe for me. Now, this is my show called Straight to the Punch. If you like what you see, the best way to let me know that you like what you see, click in that like button for me. That's where I go over future cards, past cards, and what most of you guys are here for, boxing predictions and boxing bets. Now, last um, time, out, time out was my first episode, and I had Joe Joyce, and man, was he on the wrong side of that one. One of the knockouts of the year from Zane. My guy's called a juggernaut, and I know he left that ring with a knot. I'm not here to bash Joe Joyce. I'm actually here to commend him for taking on that fight. Although it didn't go that way, I hope he heals good and we see him soon. On the other side of that, congratulations to Zane. Congratulations to you guys that went in the um, comments and was like, hey, I'm on Zane. I'm here for that, man. I'm not going to get every bet right, and I'm day sure not going to get every bet wrong. For the guys who were in the comment and put why they were on Zane and why they got on Zane, congratulations. Congratulations. I dang sure pointed out his IQ, pointed out his boxing. I just thought that Joyce was going to be able to come in there with a better game plan, and I thought he was going to be able to wear him out, take him in the lighter rounds, and uh, get the job done. But it did not go that way at all. So salute to y'all that uh, won that bet on the side with Zane. Now, what we're here for, this banging card this Saturday, man. Saturday, September 30th um, at the T-Mobile Arena. 8 o'clock start time. I'm going to talk about the main event. I'm going to talk about this undercard, man. Typically, when you get these mega fights like this, the undercard is pretty underwhelming. They have been in the past. Normally, you get bad odds because you got a contender going against a journeyman or an up-and-coming fighter, and just the odds aren't that good. But um, on this undercard, we got contenders against contenders, meaningful fights, so, uh, and, and great odds. And that's what I love about it, and I'm going to be speaking on all of those. So the first one we're going to be going over is Mario Burrios versus your Dennis Ugas. Your Dennis Ugas, 25 and 5, only 5 KOs, Olympics bronze medalist, Cuban fighter, 37 year olds, coming on the latter end of his career. Um, some may say this is a must win, but um, I, th I think he, it, even if he doesn't win, uh, there's a few good fights we can definitely see him on before we uh, call it quits or uh, put him in that journeyman category. Um, strong resume, man. One of one of the better trainers with uh, Ismail Salas, one of my uh, favorite trainers. Uh, when I say strong resume, coming off a of loss of Spence, beating Pacquiao, uh, Ramos, Omar Figueroa, uh, uh, battle with Sean Porter, good wins over Delorme and Jamal James. Things that I like about him is um, great defense, slick fighter, but he's very unorthodox. He throws a uh, straight straight jab straight right hands and then he throws some looping shots that come out of nowhere and um i love that about your dennis ugas on the other side of that we got my man mario barrios 27 and 2 18 ko's fought a lot of his fights at the 140 weight class i will say he looks like he's filling in i've been uh watching the lead up and he's looking like he's filling in at this uh, 147 um his resume to me is not that strong and when he has fought in the good competition he's lost he lost against keith thurman he lost against javante davis two of the better fighters on the um list good outing from him but like i said when he's had to step up he um he just hasn't performed that well um one thing that uh worries me a little bit about your dennis ugas is how long he's been off a uh, 14 no 17 month layoff coming off a big eye injury can my man Mario Barrios take advantage of that? We'll see, man. Me, I'm going with your Dennis Ugas to win this by via decision. There's a, a bunch of lines out there, so I always shop to get the best line. The best line that I found is your Dennis Ugas minus 110. Now, I'm not going to talk nobody out no underdogs. There's plenty of live dogs on this card. I just don't feel like Burrios is one of them. I do think he comes in and puts a good performance as he has against a better fighter. I have him as a lower B-level fighter, definitely in this weight class, and I have um, Ugas as more of a, a high B-level fighter, and I think Ugas will end up uh, winning, like I said, via decision. None of these guys really have the knockout power at 147, so I'm not really expecting a knockout. Via decision, ooh guys, get my notes right here out of the way. 
Next fight, we are going to, this is a banger, Erickson Lubin versus Jesus Alexandro Ramos Jr. Now, we have a younger fighter who's 20-0 in Ramos Jr., 22 years old. Notable fights, uh, Spencer, Spencer's moving up to fight him. He, um, Jesus is a big 154-pounder. This this fight is at super weight, but I want to get that out. He's a big 154-pounder. We've seen that in his last fight. He just towered over Spencer. Good knockout. The fight that I um, most like from him is the Mendoza fight. I learned and seen a lot from him in that fight. This guy's a brawler, slick boxer. When you think of brawler, you don't think of much defense, but he does have defense. He comes forward, never really backs up. But my thing with him, a uh, good jab, a uh, good power, tough guy. Like I said, doesn't back up. Strong. On the other side of that, Erickson Lubin, Erickson the Hammer Lubin, he comes in with the experience, 25 and 2, 27 years old, from Orlando, Florida. Has fought in the person who's in the championship fight, Jamel Charlo. He's fought in Terrell Goucher, great fight. He's beat in Rosario. Fight of the year contender with Fundora. Learned a lot about Lubin in that fight, although he lost. Lewis Ariza was his last fight. Coming off of three months, you know, he is the fresher fighter in this one. Um, in this fight, to me, this is the one where I am on the dog, man. I understand how good, I'm going to say that again, <laughs> I understand how good Ramos is. I just think he's a little young. I understand he got some power. Lubin is a little chinny, so he can get stopped. The odds say he should get stopped. I think uh, Ramos to win by stoppage is minus 185. But I'm, I'm on the live dog here in Erickson Lubin, man. If he doesn't get into a brawling contest and he actually uses his skills, his boxing skills, both of these guys hold power. Lubin to me is the faster uh, fighter. Both of these guys have good IQ, but I'm going with the experience with Lubin here. You can find this uh, dog price at plus 340 all the way down to plus 310. As always, look for the best number, but I'm on Lubin here, man. Live dog. I'm going to even sprinkle a little bit on Lubin winning via decision at plus 800, man. I can't, can't, can't really go wrong with that. I just love his chances um, to get out there and uh, outbox my guy in this one, man. As long as, he, as long as he doesn't get into a brawling contest, uses his footwork, I think he has a good chance to win. There's a better chance, than, way better chance than the odds uh, are giving him. Now, to the main event. We got Canelo Saul Alvarez versus Jermel Charlo, man. Any, everybody thought... It was going to be the big brother to fight him, but his little brother, Jamel Charlo, stepping up, coming all the way up from 154 pounds. He's 35, 1-1, one one, 19 knockouts. Canelo has fought them all, every style, 59, 2-2, two two, 39 uh, knockouts. Canelo comes in with the experience factor off gate. Canelo comes in with the experience factor at this weight. Charlo's never fought at this weight. I'm not sure... It, I don't know if his power is going to translate out this way. Uh, Charlo has the edge to me on the uh, footwork. Charlo needs to ride his bike. He's good at that. That means get in, in that, there with them combos. Get up out of there. Don't sit in there. Sit there and try to exchange with Canelo. We all know he has great power, great timing, and great uh, IQ and defense. One thing that worries me is Canelo's stamina. And uh, these last three fights, man, let's face it, Canelo just has not looked the same, man. He's $20 million, $30 million checks he's getting. Ain't no telling if he's training as hard as he was before in the past. But um, he just hasn't looked the same. With that being said, I want to lean with Charlo, but I just can't do it, man. I cannot get there right now. Um, I have not bet on this fight yet. If you want my bet for this fight, I'm going to give you who I leaned on, but that may change by Saturday by the time I put my bet on. But I will have my bet on the site, pickdogs.com. Go to the premium section. You find me there. You will get my bet. I will have it posted. I will have it posted by early Saturday. But um, right now, I'm leaning Canelo via decision minus 110, man. I don't I don't see the knockout coming from either side. Maybe a knockdown. I know a lot of people betting Canelo knockout, knockout. I don't think it's going to be that easy for him, man. Charlo is a legit opponent. Charlo has shown to have a chin. Charlo has stamina. Charlo is one of them punchers. Is in the 12th round when Canelo, when Canelo is fatiguing, 
Charlo's still punching the same power, same speed. He doesn't really get tired, man. That's one thing I love about Charlo, man. I do believe Charlo is a live dog in this fight. It's just too many unknowns going against the more experienced fighter. We've seen Canelo fight in all styles. We've seen Canelo with the power. Um, unless he can go in there and put a Baval-type performance, man, I'm going to have to ride right now with Canelo via decision, minus 110. Those are my three picks for this fight this weekend. Hope you guys enjoy that fight. I hope this small, fast breakdown helps somebody out there to win some money this weekend. That's it for straight to the punch.